First at five, the final goodbyes to a man who changed Mississippi for the better as a funeral was held in honor of former U.S. Senator Thad Cochran. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Friends and family said their final goodbyes to Mississippi's longest-serving senator. Hundreds turned out for the funeral for Senator Thad Cochran at Northminster Baptist Church in Jackson, and today's message was more personal. Senator Cochran's funeral was about remembering the man than the politician. Now, Thad has gone on to a better place. Mississippi will miss Thad Cochran. The United States Senate will miss Thad Cochran, myself included. The nation, I believe, will miss Thad Cochran. And we all join Kay and the rest of his family in mourning his loss, but also today celebrating his life. I believe that I'm a better person because I knew Thad Cochran. Vermont Senator Patrick Leahy painted the best picture of his relationship with Senator Cochran. They were close friends, even though Leahy was a Democrat and Cochran a Republican. He called him a senator senator, a dear friend, and someone with really good hair. I gotta confess, <laughs> I envied all that hair. He came to Vermont with me a couple times, met my mother and father, and my mother said to me, Patrick, your dad and I like that young man. I said, Mom, he's older than I am. <laughs> She looked at me as only a mother can, and she said, well, he looks younger. You better start taking better care of yourself. The U.S. Senate chaplain, Rear Admiral Barry Black, delivered a powerful homily. Senator Cochran was a man who built a life that continues to speak to us. And we, inspired by that life, should strive to build lives that continue to speak. The authorized version renders it, he being dead yet speaks. We must build lives that continue to speak because death is not the final word for people of faith. Senator Cochran's children also read during the service.